Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, everybody. Jim Hoffman here, pastor at St. John's United Methodist Church. It is Thursday morning, and it's time for our daily devotion. So I am getting prepared here on Facebook to be able to post this. Hope that you'll come and join me for our devotion time today. As you do, if you uh, are joining us on Facebook Live, feel free to leave a comment and let me know that you're present. I'd love to say good morning to you as you do that. Good morning, Linda. Glad you're here today. Hi, Stacy. Good morning to you. Stacy, thank you very much for the quiche. Very good. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. I'll bring a washed dish to you soon. Hi, Jack. Good morning to you. Just watching and waiting. <laughs> this is the patience part of it for me. For those of you here, um, we're going to be reading out of 2 Corinthians. So if you want to find that, 2 Corinthians chapter 2. <clears throat> We might be a small, intimate crowd today. Hi, Jack. Hi, Pat. Well, Linda, in your in your statement, there's a presumption that this might eventually end. It probably will someday, but <laughs> we can always find different times to do this. Good morning, Susan. Glad you're here today. It is a beautiful sunny Thursday. Again, we're reading out of 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Verses 14 to 17. <clears throat> Let's begin with our prayer of illumination. O God, by your spoken word, you created everything that is. By your incarnate word, you redeemed us. By your comforting word, you are with us still. Prepare us now to hear your word to us this day. Amen. So, Second Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 to 17 reads, But thank God who is always leading us around through Christ as if we were in a parade. He releases the fragrance of the knowledge of him everywhere through us. We smell like the aroma of Christ offering to God both to those who are being saved and to those who are on the road to destruction. We smell like a contagious dead person to those who are dying, but we smell like the fountain of life to those who are being saved. Who is qualified for this kind of ministry? We aren't like so many people who hustle the word of God to make a profit. We are speaking through Christ in the presence of God, as those who are sincere and as those who are sent. From God. Our author today is Jill Allen Mesh from Maryland, and her focus verse is verse 14. Thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession and through us spreads in every place the fragrance that comes from knowing Him. And here is uh, Jill's devotion for today. 
Raise your hand when you can smell it. I told my science students at the beginning of an activity to help them experience the concept of diffusion. I stood at the front of the classroom and sprayed floral scented air freshener into the air. Hands of the students at the nearest lab table shot up immediately. Then by watching the pattern of raised hands, we were able to see how the scent diffused into the air from the front of the room to the back of the room. Eventually, all students indicated that they smelled the fragrance. Today's scripture reading reminds us that we are called to be the fragrance of Christ's love for others as persons sent from God and standing in God's presence. Just as the scent of the air freshener diffused away from where I had sprayed it, the aroma of God's love spreads forward each time we serve others in the name of Jesus Christ. Offering a word of encouragement, providing a listening ear, or spending time with someone in need of support are just a few of the ways we can offer God's love to others and inspire them to spread that love in their corner of the world. Today, let's look for ways to be the fragrance of Christ in a world that needs to know and experience God's love. Thought for the day, opportunities to spread God's love all around me. I was thinking about um, this a little bit earlier today. You know, uh, you watch a little bit of the news and you certainly can get a sense of all the various things that are um, straining and stressing our social systems today within um, our culture. I'm certainly glad that I do not live in the Southeast at the moment. Um, I don't mind sitting behind one car for a few minutes, waiting for them to clear a gas pump at a busy quick trip. I could not imagine sitting in line for hours on end. Uh, it was interesting to note that they um, showed a news clip from 1979 of people who would show up at the gas station hours before it opened. This is long before the days of the 24-hour gas station. But um, long before it would, and then they would sit in line for two or three or four hours just waiting to get gas at the time of the gas shortages in 1979 and wondering if we're going to go back to those kinds of things. Uh, it was pretty sad to see on the news that um, two people got into a fight. That, that well, this, this probably happened a lot, but this just happened yesterday. And it was a man and a woman who got in a fight because she tried to cut in line. Um, you just you think about the opportunities that are before us, right? And it just seems like we have ample opportunities in which we unfortunately are choosing the lesser of the road. We're taking the low road in many ways. And, and we find ourselves reacting in anger and frustration and stress and all of these kinds of things. The bad sides of our temperaments have a tendency to come out. Think about what that might do to our witness as someone who believes in God and God's love and grace. How do we find ourselves coming to the point where we can take a breath, pause, maybe reflect for just a couple of months, you know, a couple of minutes and, and just pause and think and not respond quickly or viscerally, but rather respond in a different way. You know, to, to offer someone some grace and to say, you know what, if, if you're just, if you're in that desperate a need, go ahead of me, right? Um, to open the door for someone, to offer someone a good word of encouragement, to say thank you to someone, you know, it, all these different kinds of things um, certainly will, will, um, will bring about, I think, a difference in, in our world today. And for us that claim to be people who love Christ, it's our witness in the world today. You don't have to run around standing on a street corner quoting the Bible to everybody as a way of showing people that you're a Christian. I think they will know us by our love. And that love comes out in the words that we say to other people, particularly strangers, and the actions that we show to those that are around us. So how are you being the fragrance of Christ in the world today? What ways do you know you can be someone who can just simply share God's love and make it known in the corners of your world?
Let's take a moment to pause and pray. Oh God, we are blessed by your love, and we need to learn to share it with everyone that we meet today and each day. So in the opportunities that will come around, strengthen us in our work for you and in our proclamation of your love. May that be the first thing that comes forth from us. And we pray this in Christ. Amen. Thanks, everybody, for being here today. It's a joy and a pleasure, as always, to be part of these daily devotions with you. Tomorrow, I'm, I've got an 8.20 tea time, which means I'll be on the golf course at about this time, hopefully finishing up. So let's plan on getting together at about 1 tomorrow. So if you'll come and join me then, we'll take a time to have our devotion, and I'll look forward to spending those moments with you. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Thursday. May God's peace and grace be upon you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, friends.